Well, I think we've sorted out any little gremlin that's on board and hopefully we'll be able to carry on now. But that's Cara that you see sitting there. She's in the shade, just had a little drink. In Zutini, you won't be able to see her at the moment. She's um, just to the right of Cara in the thicket. Uh, they've kind of settled down a bit now. There was a little bit of growling and hissing and carrying on for a second and then they've now found respective shade but you can see why it's tricky to find them when they're not moving so the two of them were standing initially but where uh, in Zutini is is to the right of that picture so there's like a little bush with some shade just a little bit further right of that um, and she's kind of lying flat in there and with the grass being the length that it is you can't actually see her but what you'll find is when one moves the other one will move and there'll be a little bit of growling and hissing going on and all of this is just over establishing territory we We've been talking about it for months now that the number of female leopards within this area is so many that at some point something's going to have to give. Uh, you're not going to be able to have this many females without there, going, without there being competition, particularly in these younger females that are all trying to seek territory. Um, you know, Kara obviously has left Shadulu, so she's looking for a territory of her own. In Zutini's left Tiani, she's looking for a territory of her own. Um, and then you've got Shadulu Tiani still in the area, as well as Moya South. So um, there's a lot kind of going on in this little sector. And, and this particular open clearings area uh, is where Kara was born and grew up. And in Zutini, as she got older, was brought here by Tiani. So both of them feel like they have sort of claim to this and that this is their section. And, and Shadulu and, and Tiani have both backed off a little bit out of this area, which has left these two younger females to now have competition. And being of a similar age, a similar size, um, and similar experience level, you're finding that there's a lot going on and they, they kind of coming to blows quite regularly at the moment. Eventually, one of them is going to give way and find her own territory. You can't kind of sandwich them in um, and they can't keep occupying the same space, particularly when they start to have their own cubs. Once they are in a place where they want to have cubs, they're not going to tolerate another leopard's presence in the form of a female. They're going to become quite irritable, in fact, that there's a, another leopard around and you're going to find them being a lot more aggressive, let's say, to things. Yes, Inzatini's just stood up now. She's funny because she's every time she kind of thinks that Kara might have moved, then she goes looking for Kara. And when Kara went to drink and Zatini didn't see where she went and she walked all the way down the road, um, tried to find her, then walked all the way back again, saw her and then started growling and hissing at her and then lay down. But you can just make out her head on the right there where that little bush is. Um, she's kind of well camouflaged in the shade, but that's where she's sitting, just watching Kara at the moment. Well, we've been absolutely obliterated by the sun, which is a good thing now because Kara, you see, is trotting. She's getting away and Inzatini has no idea. She hasn't lifted her head at all. What I'm going to do is, I don't know which one to actually stay with. Maybe let's stay with Kara for now. I think Inzatini will find her. Um, we'll try and just kind of stick with her. She cut off Yeah, She's just in front of me. Let's see what happens. I think she's going to come to the shade because it's still very warm. So let's see if she comes and lies in the shade. We'll try to put ourselves in the shade too. Come girl, you can come closer. We're not going to do anything. But she's just stopped on our right hand side. Like I said, I don't see any sign of Inzatini following yet. She was still lying in the grass. And you could see how Kara was trying to almost slink away. She was just trying to drop that head and sort of trot and give herself a bit of distance. And that might indicate very quickly um, that Inzutini is the one that is putting more pressure on Kara than Kara putting pressure on Inzutini. The fact that she's trying to trot and get out um, is probably um, a good sign of what's actually going on. What's interesting is that I, as far as I understand it, Inzutini is actually younger than Kara. So Inzutini, it's about two months, three months, if, I, if I'm correct, um, younger. And, and even though she's younger, she's still being the aggressor in this situation. I mean, it's not much at this age. It's really not a huge thing. And then as they get older, it really becomes negligible. Um, but it's just interesting to see the development of these cubs and, and their mom's kind of personalities that shine through. Um, you know, Shadulu, she's definitely proved herself in the past. I mean, she's had a fight with Tandi and sorted Tandi out. Um, but, you know, Nizutini, Tiani is no joke. She's a big girl and she's quite heavy set. 
So I wonder if she's not taken a few lessons from Tiani. I just want to watch her because I'm sure if Inzatini does come, she's going to approach from behind us um, and head in this direction. Um, with all the cars moving, I wouldn't be surprised that Inzatini pops her head up just to see what's going on. These leopards are not silly. They're very good at understanding that when cars move, something has happened, um, particularly when all three start at the same time. And so I wouldn't be surprised. She just starts to move in our direction. I'm trying to look at the bush where she was at. I can't see her, though. Is she coming? No, it looks like she's still sitting there for now. Fascinating, though. I, these kind of sightings, while they can be tense, because there's always a risk involved when you have two leopards together, and it always has that... There's a part of you that just hopes nothing goes wrong, um, particularly because... Um, not even, what is it, I would say about 300 meters from where we are right now is the Shimungwe lioness and cub. And if she hears the fighting, she could very well come running in here. And when you have that combination of leopards fighting, they often don't pay attention in this long grass, that could be a problem. So you always have that kind of part of you that has this dread in that something might go wrong. But the other part of it is that it is a fascinating look into a secret animal's life. And watching these interactions always means that you glean some sort of information from it. And I love that part of it. Being out here day in, day out, you know, we spend a lot of time sitting, being patient, watching cats sleep, watching cats not move. Um, and I realize that often that can seem like a pretty weird thing to do. Um, you know, a lot of people often when they come to, to these reserves and go on game drives, want to see the animal, photograph it and go. And if it's not photo photographically um, pleasing, then often they want to just move on and find something that is doing something. But the, the real secret is in spending time with animals, um, whether that be a leopard or a dung beetle or a, whatever it may be. Um, but when you spend time, the longer you're there, the more that animal is starting to adjust to your presence and the more likely it's going to behave as naturally as possible. And therefore, you're going to get interactions, you're going to get behavioral aspects, you're going to get all kinds of things that you wouldn't have gotten had you just rushed in there, watched for five minutes and left. Because ultimately, when you arrive, spot an animal, that animal goes through a phase of being a little uncertain of what's going on, potentially wanting to sort of change its behavior. And it takes a little bit of time until it starts to understand, okay, you're not doing anything, and then it starts to go, back to normal and you can see here look at Kara for example a perfect display of what's just happened she trotted the car started she immediately stopped now that everyone is settled and no one is moving she's now moving and going back to what she would have done before and I reckon she's gonna scent mark there which is also super interesting <laughs> because that's almost her saying right you can have here I'm going to start from here is now the boundary line we're gonna start marking a, an edging to our um, areas